Welcome to the What It Takes Barger video series. I am your host, Eric Barger. Manholes, What It Takes by BargerAndSons.com The process starts by prepping the wire cage and making sure it is the correct size with no defects. Cleaning is the life of the form and essential for maximum product performance. Adding wheel spacers ensures that the wire mesh stays centered in the middle third of the manhole wall while providing the correct concrete cover. Release agent is applied to the form in a thin layer. This helps the concrete release from the metal during product stripping. The partially prepped cage is placed around the inner core. This forms the primary reinforcing for the outer walls. Rebar is then placed per engineering specification into the manhole base floor. Cutting away the wire mesh provides an area to place the preformed hole formers for watertight rubber boot installation. The hole formers are placed with attention to detail. A 360 degree wheel is shown on top of the inner cage. This is how the technicians know where to place the hole formers. Tyler performs a pre-pour inspection for each manhole product before it is poured. It is a thorough inspection process that helps ensure a correct finished product. Even the small details are important. We always are careful to check the wire mesh diameter. The outer jacket is placed around the form and is now ready to pour. The batch operator calls for 3 cubic yards of concrete on the mixer panel. The panel precisely weighs and batches the exact amount of raw material. The coarse and fine aggregates are dispensed from their own drop bins onto the main conveyor. At the transition hopper, a 90 degree turn is achieved and away the aggregates go directly into the mixer. Three minutes later, the concrete is thoroughly mixed and ready to be dumped in the transport bucket. Here you see concrete being poured into the manhole form. To ensure proper concrete quality, concrete temperature, slump, density, air content, and strengths are tested daily. 18 hours later, the concrete has reached stripping strength and is strong enough to remove from the form. The manhole base is rotated 180 degrees because it was poured upside down. The outer jacket is then released and removed. The inner core is then stripped from the product. The header pallet is then removed, revealing a precision joint. The steps are installed into the product and checked for a tight fit. The post pour inspection is completed after manufacturing further ensuring the same high quality results time after time. A unique barcode is attached to the product providing complete traceability of the product's manufacturing, testing, and delivery history. The data is entered into our Quality Assurance Tracking and Inventory Management Program, Precast It. The product is lifted and carried to the yard by a fork truck where it will be stored until delivery to another satisfied Barger & Sons customer. 